Hello boys and girls, Shiny Collector 98 here, and today we're going to talk about Pokemon Emeralds Broken RNG. So without further ado, let's get started. There are two common misconceptions about hunting a Pokemon Emerald. The first being that you cannot hunt in it at all, and the second being that you can only random encounter, but it's both sketchy and scary. I'm here to give you the truth so that you can decide for yourself. Before we continue, there are two words that we need to know. The first is the seed, which is a randomized value that starts as soon as the overworld is booted up. This is the moment as soon as it fades from the title screen to the game and you can start playing. The second word is a frame. For the purposes of this video, we will define it as a specific moment to get a specific Pokemon. We'll go in more details about that one later. For now, let's go back to the seed. The seed is the reason that Pokemon Emerald's random number generator, or RNG, is broken in the first place. The seed is caused by different formulas depending on which game you use, and then the seed is thrown into a formula to decide its IVs, nature, if it is shiny, and if it has Pokerust or not. However, in Pokemon Emerald version, the initial seed is always zero, which causes for predictability in the formula and results to be repeated. Now you might be thinking, that's cool, but what does it actually mean? Well, it means that every time you hit a frame, yeah, you remember those guys from like 30 seconds ago? Every time you hit a frame, at a specific frame, you will reach the same exact specific Pokemon. For Shiny Hunters, this means that no matter how hard you try to soft reset, if you don't have a frame containing a Shiny Pokemon early on, you will never get a Shiny Pokemon. However, you shouldn't let this deter you from hunting a Pokemon Emerald altogether. The frames occur at a rate of 60 frames per second, which after a bit of math, gets you 3,600 frames per each minute, being that the odds are 1 in 8,192 in Generation 3, you should have a shiny frame every 2.5 to 3 minutes, which is plenty enough for random encountering. People have been afraid to hunt in Pokemon Emerald version because they feel they're going to hit the same frame over and over, but seeing how commonly they occur, it is very unlikely to hit the same 1 60th of a second frame more than once, unless you're soft resetting. So to sum up all of that, it's okay to random encounter in Pokemon Emerald version. Also worth mentioning is that when you're in battle, the frames only advance one frame per round, so you don't have to worry too much about missing a shiny frame. Another thing to note is that the frames are not predetermined on the game card, rather, they are determined as soon as you start a new game. That being said, the Hoenn starters are the only plausible Pokemon to soft reset for in Pokemon Emerald version as long as you restart the save file every 50 or so soft resets. If you get a shiny uncatchable Zigzagoon instead of the starter, you'd want to keep that save file because that means you have an early shiny frame and that game can soft reset and get the starter. Let's kick Pokemon Emerald out of the spotlight for a minute to mention that everything as of yet said also applies to Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire with a dead internal battery. The last piece of important information to know is that you can record battles in the Battle Frontier and then you can play them again to either advance or set back the frames. In theory, this can make it so that you can swap your set in Pokemon Emerald if you play the battle back every time you start the game up. That's it. The majority, if not all, of the information on Pokemon Emerald's broken RNG as it pertains to Shiny Hunters. This is my first time doing this kind of video, so please give me your honest feedback, and if this video does well enough, I have plans for other explanation videos that I can also do. Thank you all so much for watching, until next time, keep it calm, cool, and collected.